solving equations. <laughs> what you do to one side, you do to the other, and how? Opposite operations. So just keeping in mind the x is what we want to get by itself. We've got to get rid of all the numbers around it. So this is multiplying by 2. How do we get rid of a multiplying by 2? And watch how I'm writing the division. See, the screen got brighter again on its own. It's so freaky. So I'm just going to put the imaginary 1 under the 2 because that helps some brains see that we're actually dividing fractions. How do we divide fractions? Change to improper. Done. Take the reciprocal of second fraction. So I'm going to take my 2 over 1, and I'm going to flip them to become 1 over 2. And then top times top and bottom times bottom. 3 times 1. 4 times 2. And what's the last step for every single one of the operations that we just reviewed? Reduce, simplify, do whatever you can. Can we reduce 3 over 8? No, because they're prime. Final answer. So all we're doing is just combining what we did in unit one, now applying it to equations. Number two, 3x equals negative 2 thirds. Three x equals negative two thirds. What do you think step number one is going to be? So peak above. What was the first thing that we did? Divided by two. This one we're going to divide by three. Again, I like to put the imaginary one under the three so that some brains can see it's a fraction and we're dividing fractions. What are we going to do with that three over one? And now, top times top. Bottom times bottom. So I'm not of negative two ninths. Reduce, simplify, final answer. Three, negative twelve over x equals four. How is this one different than the first two? You have to multiply. More specifically, where is the x in the bottom? So let's just make a note. This is going to be the steps when x is in the bottom or x is in the denominator. Here, x is in the bottom, so that's a division by x. What's the opposite of dividing something by x? So I'm going to multiply both sides by x. And I'm doing that just to get, it to get it out of the bottom, get rid of it. So the x's on the left are going to cancel. What's that going to leave me? And on the right, I just have 4 times x, which becomes 4x. Yeah, now I just want to get the x by itself. What's the opposite of a coefficient of 4? Dividing by 4. Negative 12 divided by 4, negative 3. Do I have to have the x on the right? Could I flip it and put the x on the left? Whatever you want. x can be wherever you want, left to right. Ask questions. Anything you're not sure in that one? Number four, two fractions. Similar to 1 and 2, except this time the 3 is on the bottom instead of being on the top. Last time we divided, what do you think we're going to do first here? Multiply each side by? Okay. Why did we multiply by the variable in the last one and we're not in this one? Perfect. So we're getting rid of the denominator, which is what's going to cancel the 3s. How do we divide fractions, or times fractions, sorry? Yeah, so a really common mistake here is what people do all the time is they'll do 3 times 2 and 3 times 5. However, you need to be aware of what's on the bottom of that 3. So I like to write it so that your brain can see it. I think I kind of lost the negative in there. So this just becomes top times top, bottom times bottom. So not 3 times both, but 3 times negative 2. 
and on the bottom, one times five? Can we reduce that? Can we simplify it? We have a choice. We could put it into a mixed fraction if you want to. You don't have to, but let's just practice for the first one. So you can leave it as negative six over five. That's fine. But if you want to divide, divide five into six, and what's left over? One fifth. I would accept both of those if you want to leave it as the first, great. If you want to change it, great. Whatever you decide there. Nope. Typically it goes with the whole number, but it doesn't really matter. Questions so far? Number five, there's numbers everywhere. When in doubt, go back to your steps from fractions from unit one. What was the first step of every single operation? Change to improper. So go ahead and change both sides to improper. Don't say it. Let everyone have a chance to do it. So remember, you multiply by the bottom, add to the top. So 2 times 2 plus 1. And the other side, 2 times 3 plus 1. I want to get x by itself. How do I get rid of a multiplication by negative 5 halves? Divide by negative 5 halves. Bless you. Third question now, how do we divide fractions? Flip it, so this is going to become 2 over negative 5. And just note, it doesn't really matter where the negative is there. It could stay with the 2, it could go with the 5, it doesn't matter. It will give us the same answer in the end. Top times top, bottom times bottom, so negative 7 times 2. And on the bottom, 2 times negative 5. So negative, negative becomes what? So I'm going to put a positive, even though we don't usually write it, but I just want you to see when you look back what happened to the negatives. And can we reduce 14 on 10? What can we reduce them both by? What can we reduce them both by? 2, so 14 divided by 2, and 10 divided by 2, 5. So even though it looks scary with all the numbers, it's just a question from unit 1. We just changed to improper, and then we divided two fractions. Number six, let's add a decimal into our fraction. Why? Why must we do this? Again, don't lose sight of the fact we're trying to get the x by itself. I don't really care if there's a fraction of the decimal, I just know I need to get rid of it. What's the opposite of dividing by 0.28? This would be on the calculator section of your exam, so grab your calculators. Don't be lazy, try this on your calculator. Grab an extra note package. That would make this go a little bit easier. If your thumbs are going really fast, you're not on your calculator. Offer of negative 1.26. Confirmed. Questions so far? All we're doing is taking unit one, putting it together with unit four, adding it together. Stupid word problem. What's step one to any word problem? Just read to read. Don't overthink it. Just put the context into your head. Your brain probably went blah, 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 Canadian football field. That's normal on the read to read. You're just picking out the keywords. Now let's dissect for what we actually need. They told us that speed is this formula. They've defined D as distance in meters and T as time in seconds. 
length football field. I don't really care if it's Canadian or American. I mean, I care because I love Canadian football. But in terms of a mathematician, I don't really care what this is. I know. Which you think we would score more often, but we don't. Well, all I care really is about the number. I really don't care if this is a soccer field, a, a baseball diamond. I don't care. American, yes, are smaller, right? Yes. Right. Yes. What do we need to know from part A? 65 seconds. What are we looking for? Part B. Part A, speed is what we're looking for. What that means is we have to be able to send students to the other side. So we're looking if we have a distance and we have a time. Do we have a distance? Yes, it was actually given in the main part of the question. What's the distance or the length of the field? What's the time that it took Sam to run? So we don't need to do anything to this equation because S is already by itself. All we need to do is just plug this into our calculator. Can I round to 2.1? Confirming 2.1? We need some units. So speed is always a distance divided by a time, meters per second. It's a pretty fast runner. How is B different than A? We have the speed. So in this formula, we're going to have speed and we're going to have distance, because that's given. What are we going to try to find? Time. So let's put the speed on the left-hand side which is 13.4. Distance is still 137.2. On the bottom, I don't have a time, so I'm just going to leave it as t. What equation that we did from 1 to 5 looks like this one? What equation from the first examples looks like this one? So this is just the same as number 3. And that's that special case when the denominator is on the bottom. How do I get rid of a dividing by t? So on the left, I have 13.4t. What about on the right? Now how do I get rid of the 13.4? If we round to one decimal place, 10.2 confirmed units, time, seconds. There we go. I want you to pair up to try the homework, so find someone who looks equally as smart as you.